the class today is on cause on a cause titled pub 311 introduction sorry pub 311 administrative thought uh we have a course information and facilitators profile is visible course code pub 311 the title as i earlier said administrative thought is a three credit load and uh, we are talking of 2019 2020 academic session my name is professor ekato victor or victor ekato as the case will be and my office is located at the department of public administration faculty of management sciences university of abuja airport road may campus my phone number is 081 zero, 081 i repeat 802 my email is victor dot ekato at unibuja edu dot ng my contact us mondays and wednesday every week 10 am to 4 pm and uh, instructor instructor will always be available during the consulting office hours through our e tutor support We are looking at general course review of Pub 311. Pub 311 is a course designed for proactive individual who desire to grow and who desire to grow and uh, to grow in the field of public administration. The course discusses the various theories that are being propounded by several scholars and our emphasis here is to be able to apply this theory to our everyday administrative activities in the various organizations the course objective upon completion of the course administrative thought you should be able to explain what we mean by pre paradigmatic stage in administrative thought and you should be able to discuss the various theories propounded by the following scholars frederick winslow taylor Harry Fayer, Gulick Awick, Max Weber, Miss Mary Parker Follett, Miss Mary Parker Follett, Elton George Mayo, and Fred W. Ricks. Uh, we should also know that we have our method of assessment there will be tutor marked assignments and computer based test we are necessary throughout the course and we also have our final examination 
assessment will also be given at the end of each class. No late homework will be accepted from students. The students are expected to turn in what they have on time. Attendance is compulsory, minimum of 70%. We also have a grading system. Usually, class attendance or course attendance, 5%. Discussion during the class, 10%. Tutor mark assignment, which we call the TMA, 15%, while the final examination is 70%. All added together, we form 100%. We have what we call our course to class rules, which include that students who are absent from class we lose the marks allocated for attendance. Students who submit assignments, students who submit assignments later than the due date will also lose the marks allocated for assignment. Students who are unruling during the class and those who are unable to interact properly will also lose one mark. All assignments for this course must be submitted electronically to the facilitator. We also have general information that assignment must be submitted not later than the deadlines. Students who have enrolled for this course, I expect her to maintain high level of commitment, responsibility, and participation in learning. Academic dishonesty will not be tolerated at all. All class work and individual homework must be done independently. General course review. In this course, we shall be considering the following. One, pre-paradigmatic stage in administrative thought. Here, we are referring to the period whereby there was the earliest form of administrative practice. This period refers to a period when there was no recorded theory of administration. And we also have the scientific management school. The scientific management school dates back to the beginning of the 19th century. The school is also known as classical school or traditional school of thought. The school strives to formulate the general principles of management. And the scholars in this school believe that as soon as these principles are discovered and applied, there is bound to be increase in efficiency and productivity in organization. The next aspect we'll look at in this course is one of the founding fathers of management, that is Frederick Winslow Taylor. We regard Taylor as the father of scientific management school. Taylor is regarded as the father of scientific management school in the sense that he was the first person to come out with scientific management principles. The next scholar we'll consider is Henry Fayol. Henry Fayol is regarded as the father of modern management in the sense that he was he, 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 he considered principles of organization and function of administrator 
very important. So his contribution to administrative thought are in two areas. One, he talked about the universality of management. And two, he identified functions of administration. The next scholar we will bring him here is Luther Golic. Or we, we have titled it here as Gulick Orwick. That is Luther Golic and Linda Orwick. Luther Golic and Linda Orwick represent the classical school of thought in administrative theory. Their names, Gulick, Orwick, are often used as compound names because the both scholars collaborated in editing a paper titled Science of Public Administration. And that paper was published at the New York Institute of Public Administration in 1937. The next scholar is Max Weber. Why Henry Fayot developed his principles in France Max Weber developed his own in Germany. Weber is regarded as the father of bureaucracy. He was a scholar, an academician to the core, whose area of interest go beyond administration. Weber developed the famous theory of bureaucracy. The next scholar will talk about here is Miss Mary Parker Follett. Miss Mary Parker Follett. Miss Mary Parker Follett has her contributions. Her contributions are in the area of motivation, leadership, power, and authority. She serves as a bridge between the mechanistic approach of Fred W. Taylor and the humanistic approach of Elton George Mayo. The next scholar we will consider here is Elton George Mayo. Elton George Mayo is regarded as the father of human relations. He developed the Horton experiment, that the Horton studies, conducted at the Horton plant of the Western Electrical Plant in Philadelphia in USA. Fred Warren Riggs. Fred W. Riggs. Fred W. Riggs is among the most innovative, innovative scholars in the discipline of public administration and political science. He held several, import, several positions of importance. He talked about development administration. He talked about the agraria industrial transistia, agraria transistia industria. He talked about the prismatic society. He talked about the Kanti Bazaar Salamode, ETC. So this is an overview. We have just had a rundown of the entire uh, cost structure from 311. In our next class, we shall be looking at a, stud at a study section at a study section one, which is titled The Pre-Paradigmatic Stage in Administrative Thoughts.